welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. It must be the shoes. With every sport that gets converted to gaming, there's always a wildly over-the-top cartoonish variation that turns the game on its head. Football had NFL Blitz, Baseball had Super Baseball 2020, Golf had the Mario Golf games, Tennis had, well, Mario Tennis, but arguably the most popular of these types of games was the basketball variation, when in 1993 Midway unleashed onto the world NBA Jam. The game was an instant classic, releasing for practically every console imaginable, and has gotten sequels, remakes, and re releases all the way up to 2011, truly making it one of the longest running and most beloved basketball games ever. So what makes NBA Jam so great? Well, it's insane. Distilling basketball down to 2v2 clashes, having top names and teams to play as, and adding in a fun power-up system where getting three baskets in a row declares you on fire, giving you unlimited turbo and increased accuracy, it makes the game super quick, ridiculous, and most importantly, fun. Not to mention the way each basket has impact, plus the wide variety of absolutely absurd dunks in the game, it was just a perfect storm of fun gameplay and style to make it endlessly replayable and fun. In fact, come to think of it, we are long overdue for a new one. I certainly wouldn't mind. The box art is about as iconic as you can get. I cannot tell you how many times we saw this flaming metal basketball in magazines and advertisements back in the day. Also, I kind of love that Tournament Edition is written in tiny letters down there. So, how does an arcade classic fare on the Game Boy? Let's check out NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Boom shakalaka! NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Look at all those NBA logos back there. Trademarked, owned, licensed by Nintendo, usual stuff. Oh my god, another ident screen. NBA and individual, okay. Okay, that's ident screen number four. All right, let's get to it. It's, it's still going. <laughs> We're at six ident screens now. Can we please, there we go. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Ooh. Uh, music's alright. Logo looks cool, though. Starring! Whoa. You... I... Uh, I, I can't process that many people. I definitely saw Scotty Pippen in there, though. Tournament Edition features. I don't care. Let's play. Oh, blinking. Uh, start as player one. Enter initials for record keeping? Heck yes. My initials are K. T. Uh, Michael Jordan does not appear to be in this game. It's just Scottie Pippen. Tonight's matchups: Chicago Bulls versus the M Cowboys. Let's do this. Uh, who am I? I'm probably the person with the one over their name. Okay, so A to pass. I guess I only get to play as one person. I can't switch between the two. Okay, there we go. So you hold B to jump and then let go to shoot. Graphics are not bad so far. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is a bit of a mess. I think, I think, yeah, I got a score there. Ah, yes, that's true basketball terminology. I got a score. Oh, I fell over. How do I dunk? What's happening? All the player models look almost identical, so it's kind of hard. I'm trying to shoot. There we go. Goaltending? What? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna look up controls really quick, because I think I need them. Okay, I found some controls. I feel more centered. Yeah, it looks like I only get to play as one character. Oh, by... There's actually different controls for if you tap or hold the buttons. Here's a weird issue. Okay, this actually... Oh, that was nice. Okay, so the... The bad news is, in order to do some stuff, you have to hit start and shoot at the same time. Like, right there, I got my dunk. And it looked good. But hitting start and B at the same time on the Game Boy is not super easy. Not awful, but a little awkward. The good news is that the game still has that sort of impact on the slams like that. That NBA Jam needs. Alright, let's see if I can... Hey! Give that back! Oh, this is the AI. Boom. Yeah, what if I just let the AI play? Oh, yeah, what if I slam dunk? Wait, ah! Ha ha ha. Alright, I'm getting into this. 
<laughs> just, we're just going back and forth and dunking. Which, to be fair, is the definitive NBA Jam experience. Just nothing but dunks. Music's alright, too. Not, like, amazing. Oh my god, hang on. Did anyone just see I did a funny dance over there? It is a little monotonous in this version. They have had to cut down a lot of stuff, you can tell. Oh, look at the dance. It's far from terrible, though. This is, at its core, the essence of NBA Jam. Ow. It's... Oh, what? He jumped through the bottom of the hoop, it looks like. But yeah, it's the essence of NBA Jam. It's super fast, it's not that realistic, but it's absurd and fun. I do wish it was a little easier to dunk. I'm having to, like, put my fingers into the crab formation in order to dunk. Uh, AI, you take care of this. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, I can pretty much just toss it to the AI and let them take care of things. It is a bit of a problem that every model in the game looks the same, and also our uniforms are pretty similar. It's just two different shades of... Hey. Dunk! Man, there's just something so satisfying about dunks in NBA Jam. They knew just how to animate them. They knew just how to, like, have the right screen shake, the sound effect. Like, look at this. Just immensely satisfying. This is definitely, though, making me miss the art style and presentation of the original. Obviously, you can't have that on the Game Boy. But, it's kind of key to the game, you know? Taking out that style from NBA Jam makes it not as jammy. I know I'm going to lose because of it, but I'm enjoying just dunking the ball over and over and over. So, they at least got that part of NBA Jam down pat. And in general, this gameplay is pretty good, too. The game looks nice, too. I just, I wish some of the controls were a little bit better. And I wish that we could tell the players apart a little bit more. But overall, hey, that guy just punched me. Pretty good version of NBA Jam, all things considered. But you know we gotta finish this off with a dunk, right? Let's do this. Alright, we're finishing with the ultimate dunk. Here we go. The dunk that your mother warned you about. Yeah. What a jamming good time that was. Yeah, that joke was easy, but just let me have it. The best way to sum up NBA Jam Tournament Edition is that it's a Game Boy port. What I mean by that is that it takes the original game and shrinks it down to play on the reduced hardware, unfortunately losing a few benefits of the original, but still being quite fun. The core of NBA Jam is frantic gameplay and impactful slam dunks, and that was maintained in the jump to the Game Boy. I did have to look up controls, but once I had a handle on the game, I was dunking like a pro, and even missing the classic NBA Jam graphics, the game still looked good and had fun music. Granted, I did miss the iconic announcer, but that's a minor complaint. Overall, it was NBA Jam, and I say that as quite the compliment. However, the game didn't make the jump to Game Boy completely unscathed as a few things had to be sacrificed to make it work. The main one is controls. They had to make do with only a few buttons, necessitating holding Start and B to dunk, and if you've ever played the Game Boy, hitting those at the same time regularly necessitates putting your hand in an awkward crab position. And while the game looked good, the fact that every character sprite looked nearly identical kind of complicated matters. Working within the Game Boy constraints meant you couldn't exactly have the same graphics as the original, but at least something more to indicate which team everyone was on could have done wonders. NBA Jam Tournament Edition is a mixed bag, but it's a mix that definitely has more positive than negative. If you're willing to put up with a few flaws and maybe a couple hand cramps, there's still a lot of fun to be had and plenty of dunks to be made. And the only other thing I have to say, man, I hope we get a new NBA Jam game soon. We are long overdue. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.